Okay, so now we're gonna talk to you a little bit about how to take our oven off of one of our pallets with a forklift. So you can see here on this one, we've removed all the sides of the crate and the top of the crate. And um, you can see we kind of, the way it's blocked up, it's elevated so you can get your forks underneath that oven and pick it right up off the pallet. We do recommend that you do that from the rear and we'll show you here on the backside what that looks like. So you can see there's kind of two slots here and your forks will fit in there and you'll be able to lift that oven up and off, clear off the pallet. Um, you may need to adjust your forks width. It's important that your forklift has the ability to adjust the forks uh, width and you'll need to make sure that those, uh, those forks are lined up so that they can fit inside those two holes evenly. It's very important, whether you're installing this oven on a stand or a countertop with a forklift, it's very important that you try and center up your forklift directly with the center of the back of this oven. Um, that's gonna make life a lot easier for you when it comes to set it down. Um, you know, and how you do that is really by eye. You know, when you receive the oven, it should be, you know, the, the middle of this pallet more or less should be the middle of the oven. And try and line up the middle of your fork with that and get a nice clean pick and make sure your forks aren't shifted like this way or that way. You're getting this clean center pick and the, the better you're able to do that, the easier it's gonna be for you to install. All right, so come forward. So we wanna make sure that we get our driver lined up here and so his forks are gonna go nice and clean in these holes. All right, come forward. You're clear. We want to get them as close to the edge as we can with the fork with the forklift here. Okay, hold right there. Okay, so I want to show you real quick these bolt holes right here. This is center gravity on the oven. So just this important thing for you to keep in mind, your forks or whatever you're using, they always have to go past that that bolt um, to ensure that when you lift it doesn't fall forward. Uh, and the further you can get, the better. Uh, most forks, I believe, are 44 inches. On a 42 inch, this is um, about 36 inches from the back of the oven. And on a 36 inch oven, it's gonna be um, about, I think, 28 inches uh, from the back of the oven. So 44 inches in forks should get you past there. Uh, we have very long forks. You can see here how far past this bolt hole they're sticking up. It's an important thing to keep in mind when you're moving this oven that this represents center of gravity right here. All right, so at this point, our forklift driver has a good pick on the oven. He's pretty tight towards the back of it. And from what we can tell, he's lined up pretty straight. So what we're gonna do is he's gonna lift the oven up. Now, keep in mind, you really, you don't wanna get this oven higher than it needs to be off the ground, just for safe, general safety purposes. So we're gonna have the driver lift it up a few feet to get it clear of the crate, and then he's gonna back up with it. All right, driver, go ahead. Now go ahead and bring it down low to the ground. So now the driver's bringing it low, he's clear of the crate, and he's gonna keep it not too low. You know, we don't wanna bump into anything or if the levelness of the road changes, we don't want it to scrape, but you know, um, low enough so that it's not in danger of causing damage or harm if something, something goes wrong. So you see here, we're keeping it nice and low to the ground. We're going real slow. You know, it's important to keep in mind, uh, you've got about 8,000 pounds of forklift and 3,000 pounds of oven. So that's 11,000 pounds. You know, go ahead and stop. You really wanna make sure you're on level, a level surface. Um, and just as importantly, you wanna make sure you're not in dirt or mud or anything, you know, uh, DG, pavers, things that can sink. There's so much weight here uh, that, you know, if something gets stuck, if you start sinking, there's not a lot of things that are gonna get you out of that situation. Right now we're on asphalt, that's perfectly fine. Um, at the end of the day, you need to just, it's at your own discretion, what's safe and what's not. Um, but, uh, you know, we highly recommend you never do this on any surface that's not level or very hard and compact. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to install a pizza oven using a forklift onto a countertop. And we're gonna use our flatbed truck here to kind of simulate a countertop. Um, the tools you're gonna to need, you're gonna need your wrench, and you're gonna need these two uh, three quarter inch bolts that came with your oven. You may have taken them out uh, when you uncrated the oven and you moved it with the forklift. And if you did, uh, you're gonna to want to get those handy um, for, this, for this installation. So in addition to that, you're gonna want four two by fours. 
or two four by fours. Either variation will work. Um, these are about four and five feet, somewhere around there, 60 inches long, it's about right. Um, you don't want them too short. Um, you don't want them too long, I'd say, um, you know, five feet, uh, four and a half to five and a half feet long are perfect. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put these more or less where we plan to put the oven on your countertop. Um, we're gonna simulate, you know, this would be much wider of a countertop than anyone would probably have. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and kind of just push all these and basically the back edge of the oven is gonna line up with the back edge of our countertop here. So you would put these about three feet apart from each other, centered on the oven. This is gonna allow us to set the oven down with a forklift, but remove our forks. And we're gonna adjust these as we get closer with the oven and put it above the countertop. And we'll see exactly where we need to put these so that they don't get in the way of the forks. So, all right, operator, we're ready. So your crane op or your forklift operator is gonna go ahead and lift this oven up higher than the countertop, obviously. And he's gonna go ahead and kind of center this oven wherever it is that you want your oven centered. Doesn't really matter for us, so we're just gonna go ahead and say he's dead on where we want him. Hold it. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get him nice and tight to the countertop. I'm not gonna worry about the four by two by fours right now. I'm just get him as close as I can here. So in our, in our simulation, we're wanting the edge of the oven to line up with the edge of the countertop. So keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Hold. So we're gonna call that perfect. The oven is centered where we want it. It's uh, centered front to back. It's lined up perfectly. All right, so we're gonna come over here. And looking at where his forks are, we're gonna put these on the outside of each fork. And we're gonna make sure they're kind of evenly uh, underneath the oven. So just visually, I can see they're sticking out past the edge on both sides, that's fine. So we're good on that one. This one just needs to be pushed in a little bit. Obviously, we're making sure that the forks aren't gonna hit these on their way down. Okay, so I'm gonna come stand back here. I'm gonna look at everything. And looks like we're good. We're gonna say the oven is where we want it to be uh, in relation to the countertop and our blocks are in place. So at this point, I'm gonna have the crane operator or the forklift operator bring it down. Now, I wanna be really careful here and I want him to go slow because we're gonna assume that, you know, this is a really nice granite or marble or whatever it is. Um, and we don't want him just dropping those forks and slamming down. So he's gonna go nice and slow. We're gonna stop him once the oven is on the blocks and off the forks and before he hits the bottom. Keep going. Okay, hold it there. Okay, so he's off the oven. He's not touching the, the countertop. We're gonna have him go back real slow and keep an eye on him because if the ground is uneven at all, those forks could come up or down. All right, so he's going back. Everything looks good, straight back, straight back. All right. So now, um, obviously, we gotta get this thing off blocks. So how do we do that? Get your bolts that we talked about earlier, get your wrench. Now, full disclosure, if you're not careful, this method can damage your countertop. Uh, you know, so we always defer to the, the mason or the contractor who built your countertop, and you wanna make sure that they're okay with what we're about to do. Um, because it, what it does is, it's, you'll see, it's gonna put some pressure on one side of the oven. So right now, this weight is distributed pretty evenly on the countertop. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these bolts as leverage and it's gonna suddenly put much more pressure on one side. And um, you always wanna make sure whoever built this countertop is okay with you doing this. So essentially, I'll go over verbally what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna have the uh, forklift operator come in over here and his fork is gonna come under this bolt. 
it's gonna lift up on the bolt, allowing us to remove our blocks. And we're gonna take off this side, then we're gonna go repeat and do it on the other side. Oh, come back. Come back. Come back. Oh, forward just a few inches. Right there. All right, try that. All right, so we're gonna lift up. No, hold up, no. Just a little, just a little. Oh, right there, right there. All right, so he's gonna come up. We're gonna lift just enough to pull these blocks out. Don't put your hands under the oven. If your boards are long enough here, pull. If your boards are long enough here, you should be able to pull them out without getting your hands underneath. All right, set it down slow. So, in this example, it's not a great example of a countertop. You know, our truck is on shocks and the whole thing moved down when we put our forks down. That's obviously not gonna happen with you. When you set it down, your fork should have the ability to come out nice and clean, assuming um, they're not any thicker than the, uh, the gap between the bottom of this bolt and your countertop. That's something you can measure beforehand. There are other ways to do this without a forklift. Um, you can do it with a bar, same concept, you know, utilizing the bolt as leverage. Um, you know, for the reason of the shocks, we had to push the oven all the way to the side of the truck and we weren't able to show you the left-hand side and what that would look like, but it's the same concept, just reverse. You'd be setting this down, pulling your blocks out, setting it down, and then you go and repeat on the other side and your oven is now on the countertop off the blocks. And that's how you set an oven on a countertop with a forklift.